In 1610, Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei looked up at the heavens using a telescope of his making, and what he saw would forever revolutionize the field of astronomy, our understanding of the universe, and our place in it. Centuries later, Galileo is still held in such high esteem not only for the groundbreaking research he conducted but because of his immense ingenuity in developing his own research tools. And at the center of it all is Galileo's famous telescope, which still inspired curiosity centuries later. How exactly did he invent it? How it all works? Don't move anywhere because we will tell you how Galilean telescope works in just two minutes. In the beginning, Galileo had no diagrams to work from and instead relied on his own system of trial and error to achieve the proper placement of the lenses. In Galileo's telescope, the objective lens was convex and the eye lens was concave. We won't take much but for now, think convex lens as something that can make objects look bigger and concave makes those long distance objects look clearer. Galileo knew that the light from an object placed at a distance from a convex lens created an identical image on the opposite side of the lens. He also knew that if he used concave lens, the object would appear on the same side of the lens where the object was located. If moved at a distance, it appeared larger than the object. It took a lot of work and different arrangements to get the lens at the proper sizes and distances apart. But Galileo telescope remained the most powerful and accurately built for a great many years. Basically what he did is join two lenses, one convex in the bigger part and concave lens in smaller eyepiece area and joined them using suitable metals and made it a hollow long cylindrical thing. Galileo's telescope was similar to how a pair of opera glasses worked, a simple arrangement of glass lenses to magnify objects. His first versions only improved the view to the 8th power. But Galileo's telescope steadily improved. Within a few years, he began grinding his own lenses and changing his arrays. Galileo's telescope was now capable of magnifying normal visions by a factor of 10, but it had a very narrow field of view. However, this limited ability didn't stop Galileo from using his telescope to make some amazing observations of the heavens. And what he saw and recorded for posterity was nothing short of game-changing. So until the next amazing video, keep hitting your blind spot.